Hello there. Putin is now upping the ante by directly threatening our aviation and other means of transport. Earlier on today, a Russian official announced that President Putin of Russia was upping the stakes in the Russia-Ukraine war. And it seems that the driver here is the Western powers sending truckloads of high-tech weaponry to the Ukrainians, who are using it to great effect against Russian tanks and aircraft. And the UK is now increasing Ukrainian firepower by sending them Starstreak missile systems. These are personnel portable units made by Thales in Belfast, designed to provide close air defence against conventional air threats such as fixed-wing fighters and late unmasking helicopter targets. And they can be fired from lightweight land, sea and air platforms. And with a range of 7 kilometres and speeds nearing Mach 4, they will be a formidable weapon for Putin's forces to face. Starstreak is a laser-guided system and has two main advantages over infrared, radar and radio command guidance. It cannot be jammed by countermeasures and it cannot be suppressed with anti-radar missiles. Anyway, as a result of those types of weapons getting into the hands of Ukrainian fighters, a Russian foreign ministry spokeswoman, Maria Zakharova, tweeted out a warning saying... We call on EU and NATO countries to stop the thoughtless flooding of the unviable Kyiv regime with the latest weapon systems in order to avoid enormous risk to international civilian aviation and other means of transport in Europe and beyond. Now what does that mean? That we can expect Russian fighter planes to travel into Western airspace and attack airliners maybe? Or is Russia going to deploy surface-to-air missiles where it can? Or what? And it also sounds like a direct threat to shipping. Are his submarines about to break out to sink cargo ships? Will he be ordering the use of surface-to-surface -surface missiles? Or is he hoping the threat will force us to ground our planes and keep our ships in port? A sort of blockade of the West, if you will. But all of this, of course, could only be achieved under the umbrella of his nuclear arsenal. But if this conflict does spill out of Ukraine along these lines, then it is World War III. So one assumes Putin is now banking on us to cave in and tell Zelensky to give Russia whatever it wants. <laughs>